Jim, it's a, a very nice position to be in this evening. We've won a game which we needed to win. We've kept a clean sheet. We were solid throughout the game. Thoughts? Yeah, um, needed it. We definitely needed it. Um, I thought we, first half, we were we were really good. We, we got the ball down. We played without pressure. We, we passed and moved the ball really well. Could have had another couple of goals, I thought, for, our, for, for the sort of possession we had. Um, really good, intricate play. We had lots of pace and lots of energy about us. Um, which was good to see, to get in front was a relief and then I think second half was quite a professional job from the lads. Got a little bit stretched at times but we managed to dig in and just switch across the lines and, and close people down. They were a good side and, and they wanted to play with the ball on the ground but I thought we were full value today. So what do you think made the difference? I just think the enormity of the job tonight. I think I, I spoke beforehand about what, what was required and, and if it didn't go our way then things could have changed. Um, we're under no illusions. I'm not daft. Like I said, pressure builds and pressure's been building for two or three weeks now. So I think the enormity of it, I think the fact that we had another couple of bodies back in, in the shape of Craig and, and um, uh, or Corkers, sorry, but Corkers, was, he actually fell ill before the game, um, had sickness. Um, but they just freshened it up. We managed to change it around slightly and Connor gave us a, a good impetus up front and he won a lot of headers and he, he had a bit more energy about him today, which was nice to see. Um, but I think, again, we just spoke about it before, and I think a little bit of luck at times, you know. Ball, ball fell for his nice day. Chris has got a, a little flick to one that's, that's gone on the bar and stayed out rather than gone on the bar and, and gone to one of their players and they've knocked it in. So you need a little bit of luck. Um, but we rolled our luck at times tonight and we, we managed to get the result. It was so important and of course it gives us a really good confidence boost ahead of another big game coming up on Saturday, the yeah. FA Trophy White Whitehawk. Yeah, it's a good opportunity for us. It's, it's another journey which you, we could do without at the minute. Um, Saturday was a, a real tough slog going down to Truro. The boys having to leave work, so we could have done with a nice home draw. But again, the look goes against us. But um, they're a team from a division below. I don't know too much about them, but I'll hopefully get some reports on, on what they're about. Um, I'm sure they're, they're a decent side, they're mid-table, so we'll have to go there full of confidence, but we'll have to be professional like we were today. With one or two boys coming back to fitness, the squad's looking a little bit healthier. Um, and hopefully we can have a little run in the FA Trophy. Again, it's good for prize money, but it, it might just be a nice sort of reflection away from, from league action. We can just sort of focus on that and enjoy the game and, and try and get into the next, next round. You mentioned the squad, you mentioned that we've got a couple of players uh, coming back, but we've lost some as well. Charlie Smith, uh, Charlie Smith has gone. Matty Harriot, I think, has going gone as well. Yeah, Matty's, Matty's going to be gone. We're, we're going to uh, cancel his contract by a mutual. Uh, it just wasn't working out for him. Um, He's finding it difficult to get here from work. He works in London and then he's got to drive, he didn't have his car obviously, then he's got to try and get a lift back to, I think it's the other side of uh, Luton, which is Barton Rovers. Um, sorry, Barton Rovers, my old team. <laughs> uh, to, uh, the other side of Luton, which is Barton, so it's, it's, it was difficult for him. It was getting in the way a little bit, to be honest, for him. Um, the commitment levels weren't as, as, as high as I wanted them to be, so we just shook hands and, and it's a mutual. Same with Charlie. Charlie's struggling to play on a 3G. He's getting bad hip and bad knee. He's a contracted player, but he's also, since we signed a contract, he, he got a new job coaching at Luton Town, which affects his Thursday night training. We're not in a position to have players missing from training. We need to be working on the, on the training ground. So it was probably, again, it's a good handshake and, and we move on. And, and Toby's come in, I thought he's been superb. So uh, a ready-made replacement, which I'm pleased with. So tonight you can sleep well, everyone can sleep well, we've all got a smile on our face and my God, we needed it. Yeah, we've, we've still got work to do. Look, it's one win. You know, we couldn't go on another, another five games without winning. So we need to just take the positives out of that. We, we're a work in progress. We need to be better on certain things. There's lots of things I saw out there that I wasn't happy with still. Um, we need to be a little bit more clinical. We need to be better defensively and tighter to players throughout the middle. Um, but that's things we can work on now. And just a relief to get the three points, which pulls us closer. But I've just said to the boys, and we're under no illusions at the moment, we are in a relegation battle so it's a dog fight and until we can get out of it uh, and, and start looking up then then we need to sort of go in with the mentality that we are the underdogs we've got no right to win games at this level there's some big teams in this league and, and some big budgets and from what i've seen so far all right the results sometimes have gone against us but they're narrow results by the odd goal and i think with a little bit more of a structured side and, and a bit more togetherness we can we can get on a run and hopefully that's the catalyst to get us started tonight